Around 320 New Zealanders die of melanoma each year. If detected early, melanoma is almost 100% treatable. At MoleMap, melanoma detection is all we do. We combine world-class technology with the skills of New Zealand's best melanoma dermatologists and have a far higher chance of diagnosing melanoma and other skin cancers at an early stage when it is most treatable. To find out more, visit our website, molemap.co.nz. Welcome back. Well, I'm going to go and find out exactly what happens in a mole mapping consultation. So we're catching up with Merrin, and we're going to follow my path through this mole mapping process. Hi there, Merrin. Hi, I've been Mike. sent. Hi there. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yep. What brings you into mole mapping? Um, I started mole mapping um, for Richard in about 2009, but I'd been doing it um, for a couple of years before that for a doctor, um, a, just a local GP, mm. and um, I had also been um, doing melanoma screening and stuff in the UK for a year or two before that, so that's sort of where I really first got my interest in skin. And yeah, I, I just sort of evolved to be working here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so what sort of, you know, the range of people that you're, you're getting to see, you know? Huge, yeah. huge. Um, thankfully, I think the message is getting through to younger people um, about being careful in the sun. Um, I mean, majority of the people we see are probably over 50, but um, we see a lot of younger guys and you know, sort of a lot of farmers actually. Um, young couples and things, um, and a few children as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you think it's mainly sun damage, or is there evidence of, say, some of bad makeups or other other chemical damage that's bringing it on as well? Um, there are lots of contributing factors towards that. That um, for your risk of melanoma, um, you can have. Uh, a, f a family history, um, which, uh, like genetically, it increases your risk. Uh, the lighter your hair, the lighter your eyes, the lighter your skin, um, is, is is an increased risk. Um, in Taranaki itself, there's a lot of um, you know outdoors thing activities. You know, uh, big farming community, um, lots of outdoor activities, you know, that people, you know, with the, the beach so close and, the, you know, lots of tramping and um, stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot of reason for people to be outside yeah. around here. Um, what happens now that I'm sat in your office and All right. <clears throat> got, got some moles to have a be looked at? Okay, so um, the first thing I'll, I'll do is establish um, your history itself. So, have you ever had melanoma? No, no. no? No. All right, that's a good start. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, yeah. has anybody in your family had melanoma? No, not to my knowledge. All right. Um, but I, I have had a couple of little bits that have been cut out, but they were found to be nothing nothing to worry about. Okay. A little bit off the side of my head and out of my leg once. And, All right, yeah. okay. That's good. And have you, um, so the, the things that you had cut out, they weren't any other type of skin cancer? No. Like basal cell or squamous no. cell carcinoma? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you, um, you look like you're quite fair skinned, do you burn quite easily in the sun? Um, I used to, yes, and not yeah. so much now, apart from the perpetually red nose through summer. Yeah, yeah. You know, use me as a stoplight. <laughs> <laughs> do you burn and um, then tan, or do you burn and peel and go white again? Generally, I, I burn and then tan a little, unless it's a red extreme, but generally it's a burn and tan. Okay. All right. Um, have you had lots of sunburns over the years, like especially as a child? Um, not, not too bad as a child, but in later years when I when vanity took over and I wanted to be the bronze hero. Yeah. Yes, and um, so lots of sunburn plus 20 plus years as a nurseryman working outside. Yeah, all right. Peeling and blistering sunburns? Sometimes, yes. The, probably the worst was first climb of the mountain and I got third degree burns and lost all the skin off my face. Right, wow. Uh, um, yes, I, got <laughs> like home. Yes, I got sent home from school because nobody could bear looking at me. 
How old were you in that heaven? Um, must have been about 14. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, one of the major risk factors is um, peeling and blistering sunburns up to the age of 15, mm -hmm. um, which can then come back and, you know, and it increases your risk yeah. for developing melanoma and other skin cancers later in life. So you're a prime candidate, yep. so oh, it's gosh, a bit your yes. day today. <clears throat> All right, what's your natural hair colour, Mike? Um, it used to be a very, very dark brown. Okay. And is there anything in particular that you're concerned about today? Um, there's a little bit of just in developing a, I don't know, baldness, a little bit there that seems to just have a little sore, and and there's just a couple of few moles on the back that I never see and uh, worry about, and two little spots just up a, up by my eyes. Okay. All right. So first up, what we do is we take a series of body shots of you standing in certain positions right. um, and I take pictures of your skin in sections and that gives us a good baseline of what your skin is like today. Right. Uh, we use the body shots as a reference point. So mm. if you were to come back to me in, say, four months' time saying I've never noticed this mole on my leg before, we can have a look to see if it was there today or if it's right. one that's yep. popped up in the mm. meantime. Yeah. Um, so the body shots um, are used as a reference point and also for when I'm taking magnified pictures of your individual moles, mm. I mark on your body shots which ones I'm taking the right. photos of. So if anything required follow-up, then you know the, the, the doctor is looking at the right, right thing. Right, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so after I've done your body shots, I'll take magnified pictures um, and they're really highly magnified. Um, we take two types of image. One's a macro, which is like a magnified image um, gives the dermatologist a clinical view of the mole so they can see what it, look like, what it looks like to the eye um, and you know like if there's any raised features or anything in it right. um, that look concerning um, and then I take a micro image which is magnified 40 times and it um, is taken with uh, lights that shine through to the subsurface um, so we can see the structure of the pigmentation and whether there's any features in it that look worrying. Um, sometimes a mole can look quite scary to the eye, but when you see it really highly magnified, it looks fine, and vice versa as well. Right. Yep. Yeah. So, um, and then the the magnified pictures that I take every time you come, we take the same ones again and right. we repeat those mm -hmm. and we compare those for change. So, you're not trying to remember what something looked like, you know, a year ago or however long it's been. Mm -hmm. um, neither is your doctor. And um, it just takes away any um, any doubt. Yeah. yeah, and that's an interesting point you make. It's not just the a big mole, but it, a wee tiny mole could be the the real problem one. Yeah, and yeah, the... yeah, absolutely. And a lot of the time, people are worried about things that you don't need to worry about, mm. and they don't worry about things that you do need to worry <laughs> yes. about. So. Um, it's good uh, to to have people come in here and we can have a bit of a chat. I can tell them what is looks concerning mm. and, and what to look out for in the future. Yeah. Um, a service that we provide after you've been is that if anything pops up of any concern over the next 12 months, you can come back at any point for a spot check because right. any mole can change to a melanoma in six weeks, which a lot oh, of people gosh. don't know that. So just because everything might be all good today, hopefully, yep. doesn't mean to say you've got the next 12 months off checking yeah, your skin. Yeah, right. Yeah, so you go and, you know, you have a little bit of extra exposure or something and bang, yep. triggers yep. can happen. Yeah, Any, anything can happen in a really short time frame. So people need to know what to, um, what to yeah. look for. Mm. Well, I'm going to go and have my back and all my little bits and moles checked over. I don't think New Zealand television is ready to see the total of me, but I'm going to put myself in Merrin's hands and see what transposes. Well, I've had a thorough check over, hundreds of moles, but hopefully none of them are going to rise into melanoma. Well, until next week, happy gardening, but remember, when you're out in the garden, cover up and get some of the creams on. Stop you getting melanoma.